Damn. Oh my god, it's here. Alright, so before I go ahead and unbox the, the new saxophone, let me just give you some context. I play a Yamaha YS21. It's super old, it's vintage, it's from the purple logo era of Yamaha. It's manufactured by, when I checked around in the 60s or so, so like pretty, pretty, pretty long ago. That's over like 60 years ago or so. Um, so uh, it's a nice instrument, it's reliable, but, for, but lately I found myself having to like fix it so many times. So I wanted to try out a new saxophone that's, well, like decent, not super expensive, like professional horn, because I have like a very limited budget. And then the better sax was always on my radar because I, I watched Jim Cow's videos and said, let's just give it, let's give it, let's give it a try. And uh, see what it looks like. All right. So all right, this is my first. This is my first time creating an unboxing video. Um, let's see what it looks like. Okay, better sucks. In China. So, for context, I used to play Yamaha Auto and it's super heavy. It's actually about the same size, but this is like very light. Hey, give me a second, I'll go away, get a weighing scale and check how heavy it is. Alright, I'm back and we have a weighing scale here. Check how heavy the hammer is. 5.8 kilograms okay let's compare with the better sacks my god it's so light it doesn't even register okay let's see i guess it's so light that it doesn't even register anything yeah so like it's super 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 light I feel like it will be fun traveling with this sax. Okay, let's open it up. Yeah, let's go on. Inspected by J Hart. Serial number. Dish, dish, dish. 40 point instruction. Inspect bad case. Yada yada. J Metcalf, the man himself. Okay, the instruction manual. There's a. I guess this is probably like a name tag you can attach to the box. Oh, sweet! Uh, Vandering um, size 2. This is the Vandering Pirate size 2. Hot grease, neck strap. I don't like this kind of neck strap. I don't have any kind of cushion. And uh, this, I'm not sure what this is for. Okay, it's here. Silica gel, um, the neck, the mouthpiece. Okay, it feels very. I play a Sios mouthpiece that I really like, so I 
probably one of the good things about this. Uh, yeah. Let's take this off. This is so beautiful. It just feels so solid. Like, look at this. And I really, really love the color. Like, it's so, 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 so beautiful. Okay, how does it compare to my uh, YES21? Let's get this out. This is an F sharp key. No F sharp. Uh, blue steel needles. Blue steel pins. It's like regular steel pins. This just feels more solid. Okay. So. I have never tried this underslung um, optic mechanism before, but it looks really fancy. It reminds me of the one on the Cannonball saxophone set. It looks really nice. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna change anything, but yeah, I should give it a try. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, this is like so nice. Like, I love the feel. Ooh. This is so sweet. Okay. Okay, so let me set up my mouthpiece and read. I play a legend. Uh, Two and quarter, that's two, two point two five. So my piece and uh, read looks good. Um, plug it in. Okay, let's give it a bit just play. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> So, uh, I feel like I, I, I think I sound the same. Uh, I'm going to play my audio to check. Uh, so, I was expecting to sound differently, but it does feel, it just feels, first of all, it feels very different on your fingers. And I can tell that there's no leakage, it's just because it's new. I, I believe it's been tested, it's been regulated. Uh, from the factory. Uh, okay, so let's hear how I sound in the Yamaha. <laughs>
So I can hear a subtle difference. Um, it's funny, I, I kind of feel like I'm leaning towards the sound of my old Yamaha for some reason. But let's see if I change my mind in a couple of weeks. So what are my thoughts? So first things first, I think I really, 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 really like the box. Like I like the size. I like the, I like that it's very portable. I like that it's very light. Um, so that means, so for instance, when I have to travel, like carrying my saxophone, it won't be a challenge that carrying my saxophone. I can just wear like a backpack and it's not so heavy. Because um, usually when I'm traveling, I'm carrying my, I carry my auto with the box. Like it's super heavy. I have to drop it a couple of times. But because this is very light, I can just wear this on my back. Um, second is, I think I really, really love the design. I really dig the color. It's like super nice. It also has a um, couple of nice things that the Yamaha does not have. It's an F sharp key. Uh, of course, it's new one, so it's just it's just nicer compared to the Yamaha. Um, my overall thoughts. I think I sound the same, and I, and I expected that because. From all of the videos I've watched, um, see other saxophones compare their sounds in different horns. I it's such a subtle difference. I think the Yamaha is a bit punchier. Uh, the better sax sort of feels. Will I say vintage, which is kind of interesting because the better sax is a new saxophone. So there's this vintage feel to the sound. But besides that, I think I sound the same because I'm using the same setup. I'm using like the same mouthpiece, the same like the reeds I usually play, and my same style of playing. So I pretty much sound like me, um, and I was expecting that. But I'm ha I'm happy because um, that means like it's a newer instrument. It's going to be much more reliable. Sweetwater has a two-year warranty on the saxophone, so that means in two years, if I have any kind of like issues, like leaky parts or stuff like that, I can just send it to Sweetwater here in the US and it will be repaired for free, I believe. Um, so that's another advantage for that. So, but overall, I think I'm fine with the purchase. And look forward to more videos from me sharing like my playing on the new saxophone. Bye bye.